Hello, Cancer. Happy weekend to you. It's Saturday morning where I am. Cancer, I hope you're doing wonderful wherever you are. This is Monica with Pisces Moon Intuitive. Cancer, you want a soulmate reading to check up on the latest energies between you and your soulmate. First, as usual, we're going to ask what's coming up for you, what you'll be dealing with, facing in your life, and how you're currently doing on your soulmate journey. Second part of this video, we're going to ask about your soulmate. Whoever it is you're thinking of concentrating on while watching this video, whether you're currently in contact with them or not. Let's see what's popping here. Universe, please step in. Show very clear and important messages for the sign of cancer, for cancer's highest good, please. Universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer in their life. And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? What's coming up for Cancer in their life? And how is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> this one clearly wants to show up as extra message. Very important. Major changes coming to your life. Death, the end of one chapter, beginning of a new one major transformation changes in your life divinely ordered because this is a major arcana life force card and also it's showing up in first position changes that you won't be able to like stop from happening they meant to happen in your life now how you react to them will be up to you right <clears throat> Ooh, you're gonna try to resist those changes uh, don't do that. Yeah, because you're just going to make it more difficult for yourself. The magician card is reversed. <clears throat> do not try to stop certain things that will be happening in your life because they are meant to happen for a reason. Yeah, it's divinely ordered. Mm -hmm. Things that you're not supposed to know in advance, so you're not totally prepared. Certain things, it's very true. Certain things we're not supposed to know in advance because we're going to try to change it because our ego will try to get involved and get in the way. We're not supposed to know everything in advance, <clears throat> right? Yeah. So certain things are being hidden from you by your higher self, your soul, for your highest good. Ooh, you're going to be... Oh, so listen, Cancerians, don't try to... Um, swim against the current, sort of speak, because you're going to make difficult situation for yourself, right? Go with the flow. Yeah. So something that you are resisting on purpose that is supposed to happen in your life, or you're going to try to resist it because you're showing up here as queen of swords reversed. <clears throat> it's beyond your control. You won't be able to. So there's an event uh, life-changing event coming to you uh, that you won't be able to stop because you're not supposed to stop it, okay? But you're going to be so set on changing things your way and it's really just going to make situation more difficult for you. So just go with the flow. Don't swim against the current, so to speak. Swim with the current. Yeah. <clears throat> hmm. For a lot of you, it has to do with your job, your work. Yeah, a lot of you has to do with your work, the place where you work. Universe, please show us. Hmm, Cancer, I'm happy for you because these changes are going to be positive in your life. Maybe they'll first look intimidating to you, <clears throat> but they're going to be positive, bring you positive effects. Yeah. Universe, please show us. That's a good sign. Universe, please show us what's coming up for cancer. How is cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> yeah, you're scared of changes, which is normal. We are scared because we don't know what to expect. But these changes are divinely ordered. Yeah. Somebody's trying to deceive you. So there's someone in your current close surroundings, uh, a person you're dealing with that is trying to confuse you, deceive you, to gain at your expense. So be very careful who you trust, who you consider your friends to be, who you hang out with. 
Oh, you're going to have to stand up for yourself because there's somebody that is trying to deceive you on purpose. Uh, whether it's a family member, a soulmate, a co-worker, a boss, a friend, whoever. The first person that comes to your mind, you're going to stand up for yourself. Yeah, you will. Um, <clears throat> if you can't think of who it is, next time you see them or talk to them, it will click right away. You will know it's them. Wow. So the situation that's going to take effect in your life is divinely ordered, but you will be able to protect yourself from someone who is trying to deceive you on purpose. Yeah. You're viewing yourself at this time as available, not in a relationship. Yeah, you're going to find out the truth. So there's somebody in your close surroundings that doesn't have your back, but pretends that they do. And you're going to find out the truth. Yeah, the truth will come out. Mm -hmm. They won't be successful at scheming their plan against you. You are very intuitive. Listen to your intuition. Yeah, listen to your intuition. Never ignore your intuition. So there's a group of people at your job that is creating a lot of chaos, drama, gossip. Do not get involved in those shenanigans. Be wise. Stay out of drama. Stay out of gossip. Do not get involved. Don't take sides. Stay neutral. Yeah, very important. Major changes showing up here. There's jealousy towards you at your job because they view you as very good at what you do. Yeah, you see? So remember, when people are jealous, take that as a compliment. That means you're doing something right. Keep being passionate, proactive. Yeah, passionate and proactive. Don't let negativity affect you from anybody. I'm so proud of you, Cancer, how strong you are, how resilient you are. Universe, please show us what's coming up for Cancer. How is Cancer currently doing on their soulmate journey? <clears throat> You've been trying to get away from that group of people at your job for a while now. Yeah. You're doing other people's jobs. It's not fair to you. Yeah. Stand up for yourself courageously in writing. That's the only way uh, you can make sure they will handle things correctly. If you report things in person, they're going to change your words. Yeah. Report things that are being done unjustly, unfairly in writing, professionally, of course, that's the only way you may be able to make sure that they will address the issues that need to be addressed. You see, you're going to have a decision to make on what to do, how to proceed. <clears throat> Look how beautiful your energy is. You shine at what you do. They need you. Yeah, you shine at what you do. Honestly, you don't belong in that toxic environment. You are too diligent, too talented to be in chaotic environment like that. Let me see what's going on with your soulmate. Cancer, I'm so proud of you. How well you're doing for yourself. You are fabulous. Universe, please show us how strong and resilient you are. You're standing up for yourself courageously. Wow. Justice and Ace of Swords fell out. So justice will be served on your behalf. Yeah, justice being served on your behalf. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer that cancer has been dealing with. And how is that soulmate of cancer towards cancer at this time, especially emotionally? This one is looking at me as extra message. They feel a lot of guilt, regret. They try to disconnect from you emotionally and they can't. They feel a lot of sadness, heartbreak. They miss you. Yeah. They worried because they love you. They worried what's going to happen. If they didn't love you, they would have moved on with their life already. <clears throat> um, there are people who are kind of nosy, trying to find out what's going on with the two of you. Just be careful who you trust with your personal information, Cancer, who you listen to, who you consider your friends or acquaintances to be, because there are people around you who are kind of trying to put their 15 cents in and 
figure out what's going on with the two of you and gossip. It's really nobody's business. It's your business. It's between you and your soulmate. <clears throat> yeah, this person is worried you're going to be with somebody else. This was a serious connection. Yeah, this is them looking within, looking at what happened, what transpired, and trying to learn from any mistakes. Yeah, you don't know how badly they want to communicate with you, talk to you. Yeah. New job is showing up here for you, whether it's a new position, new place of employment, new way of doing business. I'm happy for you, King Syrians. Yeah, so the person is quiet, your soulmate, but they want to so badly break that silence. Yeah, look, they feel like the world was turned upside down. They feel sad without you. Yeah. They realize the importance you play, the role you play in their life, how important uh, you are in their life. Yeah, the sun, the best card in the whole deck. Yeah, the moon is showing up twice. So this person needs to be a little more picky with the people they call their friends, who they trust with their personal information. Yeah. Because there's a lot of gossip going on. Universe, please show us what's going on currently with that soulmate of cancer. They want so badly to communicate with you, to clear the air with you. Yeah. Yeah. This is them realizing you're not chasing them. They're going to have to reach out to you, communicate with you, extend the olive branch to you. You see, this is them trying to be wise enough to do approach this correctly and strong enough to approach you. Yeah. You see, they realize they were in and out of your life, didn't offer you a solid relationship. Wow. So they do love you, but new soulmate is popping up here for you. Someone who's mature, marriage material. Yeah. New love dawning for you. Remember cancer. Don't put all of your eggs in one basket and don't settle for a relationship. You deserve someone of high quality, someone who will appreciate you. In fact, right? Cancer, I'm sending you all the best. Lots of love, big hugs, and I'll talk to you next time. Love you guys.